Live lang ng live. Alright! We are now live. Magandang magandang araw po. As about isa, my, my name is John Rania. And again, I would like to welcome you in this Facebook Live. If this is your first time po na makaten sa ating po Facebook Live, can you leave a comment below live at the bottom? Or leave a comment para po malaman natin kung sino rito yung mga first time. Let me just check in my phone real quick. Yeah, looks like we are all set. I hope that everyone are safe, loud and clear. All right, marapit na po ang uh, ang uh, Valentine's Day <laughs> at malapit na rin hong matapos o uh, yung uh, should we say yung next quarter, yung first quarter of the year will be by next month. So I decided to go Facebook Live and to make sure po na you guys are are on your track. And in this video, in this live broadcast, ang pag-uusapan po natin. Is what I think really, really believe po this 2021. You should really get into this game. And uh, yun po ang ating pag-uusapan ngayon, yung four uh, business models that I normally preach and teach to people and how to make your first 100K online, okay? So again, uh, if this is, uh, if you haven't made any money online, well, you really have to pay attention in this live uh, training. Muli po magandang magandang araw sa inyo. This is John Rania from Negocio University. We will start in about a few minutes. Then normally, see Facebook, it take a while before niya irilabas yung mga notifications <laughs> sa, mga, sa mga followers natin on Facebook, sa mga email subscribers natin. But for now, can you leave a comment muna, guys? So write a comment below kung kayo po yun na likely naninood sa inyong mobile device kung saan po kayo nakikinig ngayon. Like, if you are... Uh, kung nasa Philippines kayo, anong part po kayo ng Philippines At kung wala naman kayo sa Pilipinas, eh nasa ang parte po kayo ng mundo <laughs> Okay, muli pa magandang magandang araw sa inyo Right now, sa mga nagtatanong, Coach uh, John, saan ka ba ngayon? Ako po ay nasa Canada actually At ngayon po sa labas is nasa around minus 30 degrees Celsius That is right, minus negative 30 Super freezing po, kaya po kami uh, kahit na nasa bahay <laughs> Normally naka-sweater Okay, so I just want to uh, say uh, hi lang muna quickly kay Shepot. Yan, magandang araw. Shepot ng Kainta Rizal. Good morning, kina Miho, kina Jetlo. And I can see that people are already coming in. Good morning, good morning to everyone. Yung iba, they're joining us via different Facebook group. Kaya minsan hindi ko nababasa yung name ninyo, but I can only read your message. Of course, I would like to say hi kay Mylen ng Mabalakat Pampanga, kay Lizel ng... Uh, Sigay, Iloko Sur. Of course, I would like to say hi kay Grace. Of course, si Grace. Ah, muulan dyan sa Cebu, Grace. Kamusta na? Kamusta na? Okay. <laughs> si Shoden San. Okay, ang init. Oo nga din. Si Grabe, sobrang init talaga. <laughs> Minus 30 degrees. Can you imagine that, guys? Right? Minsan tayo pagka pumunta ng Baguio, 15 degrees lang eh. Nakasweater na tayo, di ba? Sa Baguio, normally, pagka yung mga... Christmas season or mga se you know um end part of the year or January 15 degrees I don't know I guess ang pinakamalamig yata sa Baguio is like 10 Now can you imagine sa amin minus 30 <laughs> Talaga ho hindi kami lumabas sa buong bahay uh, wala kaming ginawa mag order lang ng breakfast sa uh, sa Uber Uber Eats uh, and then lunch um order kami ng sushi puro order lang kami ngayon Kaya yan. Good morning, good morning. Ayan, nagdadating na. Good morning to everyone. Quick shout out lang, of course, kay Jello Abuay. Yan. Yan, si Jello po, guys. If you've been seeing my videos sa Facebook, sa Instagram, at of course, do not forget, <laughs> si Tito John, may TikTok na. Would you believe that? Okay? But if you will follow me on Facebook, you've seen some of my videos, uh, si Jello po ang tinutulong dyan. Yan. She's very, very helpful for our team. Make sure that we are all set. Make sure that we are hitting our goals. Yan, si Jello. Um, a quick shout out lang again sa... Uh, let me see here. Sa mga na-miss kong mga pangalan. Uh, kay Von. Yan, si Von. Ano, uh, talagang uh, active yan na ating Facebook page. Good morning. Nang Rizal uh, sa laptop. Looking to learn and eat as a student. <laughs> okay. Uh, what else? Uh, we have from uh, Hilario ng Benguet. Uh, of course, say hi kay Cesar, kay MJ, si MJ ng Sandrino ng uh, Saudi Arabia. Ano bang weather ngayon dyan sa Saudi Arabia? I just wonder. Si uh, Chot ng Das Marinas, Cavite. Si uh, Good Morning, Jofer, kay Paul. Um, 
Uh, who else? Kay, 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 kay Emmer ng Pampanga. We good morning then kay Mabel, of course. Mabel Pascual, kay Nico Magno. Good morning. Kay Trinity. Kay Jonalyn. Kay Alvin. Nuke. Kay David Ramos. Good morning, David. Kamusta na? Wilma. Who else? Who else I have here? Okay. Sandali, guys. At medyo... Nanini bago pa rin. Hindi pa rin ako sanay dito. Um, who else? Who else we have here? Sandali guys, ah, medyo baka may skip kay Wilma, kay uh, Suver Suveria Rosa, I hope I pronounce your name, from Butuan City, kay Ken, uh, Ken Clars, uh, who else? Kay Albert Chu, good morning. Good morning kay uh, Michelle Ibarle, yan. Kay Marilu, good morning din kay Almera Makatupo, and of course, ng Davao del Norte, Mindanao. You guys can see from different part of the Philippines, Valencia, Bukidnon. Si John Ali naman ay nakikinig from Bukidnon. We have from Nico Magno. Who else? Jetlo ng Bacolod. Lakas ng ulan. Uy, stay safe. Ingat po tayo dyan kung mayroon mang bagyo. Done with my ebook. Si Marilu. Very good. Congratulations. Okay? Now let's start to market and sell it. Alright? Kay Annaline. Good morning. Uh, late. Busy po sa paggawa ng module. Last minute po ang pasahan. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Eh, alam mo naman tayo. Eh. Medyo mahilig tayo sometimes ng, ano, eh, ng uh, last minute eh. Uh, Ilo Ilo, si Miller, Miller, rather, sorry. Uh, we have from, um, uh, who else we have here? Oh, si Coach Lish. Aquino, of course, Andirito, joining us. Ang Amazon Queen, si Gigi, yan, Gigi Isunga. Man, ang mga paborito ko rin yan, guys. Panoorin nyo rin sa YouTube channel. Napakasipag mag-video niyan. Ako, huy, taas ang kamay ko sa, sa babae na to. Napakasipag. Sipag. Kay Yusef, kay Alma Lorente, good morning. Um, uh, <laughs> upgrade na ng camera yung old, ano ko na to, M50. Eh, eh dati kinatatamaran gamitin. Ngayon, sabi ko, you know what? Gamitin ko na nga ito. Sayang yung bili ko eh. <laughs> so, yeah, I've been using it sa my webinar. We added some uh, pretty cool lens. Kay Jerry, good morning. Kay Juarez John. Good morning sa inyo kay Jojo Ibayan. Good morning. And Eunice kay Tony Beltran. Good morning. Kay uh, who else we have here? Great. Kay Crazy Net. Good morning. Uh, kay Clark Queto. Sa news feed ko sa lahat ng video mo nakikita ko walang kung hindi tinatapos. Feeling ko kasi who is this? Si Clark, sabi niya, Coach, ang tagal ko na po kayo nakikita sa newsfeed ko, sa lahat ng video mo nakikita ko kasi hindi pa ako natatapos. Feeling ko kasi kahit 17 pa lang ako, eh madami na ako matututunan sa'yo. Absolutely, I mean, that's what I'm hoping, uh, Clark, um, but, uh, but I'll be honest, when I was your age, when I was 17, I don't even think about making money in business, so you really have a bright, 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 rather, bright, bright future ahead of you just keep learning and most importantly not just learn but start to apply uh what you've learned from me and not just from me but also from other people si adora ng santa ana um si nathaniel good morning kay uh who else here kay iham good morning guys type kung saan po kayo nakikinig ngayon good morning kay alaga mark shirley marie Melinda Javier, ayan. Good morning to everyone. Dami na natin ngayon. Those will be really, really nice. Ako po, eh, the more na maraming umaten sa ating mga training in Facebook Live, ako'y mas ralong naiingganyo. <laughs> okay? So, my um, my goal right now, today po, in this live broadcast, is very simple lamang po, is that is to, uh, oops, sorry, what happened here? Is to, um, to give you a very simple lamang po na breakdown on what you guys can do to first to make uh, your first 100,000 pesos um, per month. Now, I know for uh, for some of you, nakikita ko rito, yung iba sa inyo, obviously, this uh, probably not new to you guys, but this message is primarily for those who have never really made money online. And I'm going to give you guys four business models or product or services that you guys can offer online, okay? So how do I turn off itong kay Clark? Paano ko ba alisin ito? Na-stuck na pala. Hmm. Okay, just give me a second here. First time. Yan, yung mga first time po dyan. Type niyo po, first time to join. Hope to learn new things in here. Thanks for inviting kay Delfina. Yan. Ah, medyo nag-send out po kasi ako ng uh, quick, ha? <laughs> Late email. Uh, quick 
email lamang po sa ating mga subscribers. So, um, alam nyo, one thing that I've learned for me, uh, as an entrepreneur, eh, ako ho, eh, madalas, eh, uh, ano, eh, um, ano ba tawag sa sa term na yun? Eh, pabugso-bugso, eh. I'm, I'm really got bored with the routine. I guess kaya ho ako hindi naging nagtagal sa pagiging empleyado. Eh. Just the idea of doing the same thing again and again for for years. <laughs> hindi ho kayang i, uh, i-take ng utak ko eh. You know, nabuboring, nabubored ho ako eh. So I, I I love yung mga, ano ba tawag natin sa term na yun? Yung parang bugsuan lang. What do you call that in English? Si Coach Shoden. Yung English, co- English coach ko to eh. Nasaan ba yan? Si Coach Shoden. Yung, um, yung, uh, impulse ka lang you know minsan minsan that works for the best for me eh, right so kaya minsan uh, you know i launch a course i launch a program i launch a a, a, a workshop minsan po biglaan lang eh sa akin ho kasi minsan doon doon ako na enjoy eh. that what really get me excited spontaneous my kame yeah tama impromptu that is right actually from from through the years po that i've you know studying the entrepreneurs and really trying to learn more about myself and what what works for me and what doesn't what triggers me and what doesn't um one thing that i realized yung procrastination isn't necessarily bad but i'm I, but i'm not gonna go into the details right now probably i'm gonna a separate make a separate video for this one pero ganun po si coach john just so you know kaya po you know for some maybe before they go for Facebook Live, yeah, announce muna nila a day before, sinasabi na nila. <laughs> Ako po, 15 minutes before. <laughs> so nobody knows that I'm gonna do this. Even my wife who uses this camera. Dahil siya ho yung nagpapalago ng kanyang YouTube channel. Right? So, but anyways, um, first time po sa live, pero lagi ko nanonood ng vid ninyo. Sabi ni Nico Magno. Ayan. All right. Coach Sharon Dennis, you know, Dennis is back and help you, you know, be good in English, you know? <laughs> All right, let's rock and roll. So, ano po ang pag-uusapan natin again ngayon? Ang pag-uusapan po natin is how to have this your first 100K and hopefully it leads you month per month. Because the reason I'm about to share, what I'm about to share with you guys, um, I'm just going to give you an overview. But uh, during my uh, webinar uh, ju- uh, for my students, I... Um, especially yung live, uh, yung in-office training po namin. Ito po yung mga every month inside our program. Meron po kaming in-office training. And uh, in yung last in-office training, I break down yung how to achieve your income goal. Because I, two things po na na-notice ko for, for, for coaching over 3,000 entrepreneurs, you know, we've reached millions uh, every week. Millions po, hindi po ito uh, exaggeration. If you cannot go check out my Facebook page, we are reaching millions via our videos. Kakita na nyo, kat- katulad ho ninyo, marami ho sa inyo nakakapanood ng mga videos natin, right? Um, one thing that I noticed, number one, they don't have the, the problem, kaya hindi po sila, you know, nag improve yung kanang finances because number one, they don't know exactly how much they want. So that's the thing. So, kung, kung alam man nila, kung ano yung gusto nila, Sir John, I want to make this much money, is hindi naman nila ma-imagine in their heads, how am I going to make that much money? Right? So now, uh, in, in just in the comment below, guys, how much would that be na masasabi mong, okay, Sir John, if I make this much money, I'll be really happy. Can you like, uh, leave a comment below? Yan. Si Jeffrey Fornella, of course, ng ating budgetarian bride. Yan, yung mga gusto diyang ikasal o magpapakasal, or you want resources, okay? Just check out one of my best students, si Jeffrey Fornella. Yeah. So that's the thing, okay? So now, magkakaiba ho tayo ng mga pangangailangan, magkakaiba ho tayo ng mga pangarap sa buhay. I am not here to tell you how much you should make. That is why you have to sit down. And if you've been following me for a while, I always tell you, get a notebook, get a journal. One of those best things that happened in my life is when I learned how to journaling so journaling basically you get a notebook you get a pen and then just write every single day there will be days that you will be something emotional mo. there will be days that you're gonna write something na goals mo there will be days that you will gonna write something that frustrates you but by sitting down especially you guys ngayon with we're always connected with the te- technology with the internet and all in the last three weeks po i've been fooling around with tiktok Right? I-follow nyo na rin po ako sa TikTok, by the way. Search nyo lang po, John Oranya, at sign John Oranya. 
I've been playing around with TikTok to use it and I see how can I use this to reach more people and help make, you know, reach more people and make a bigger impact, right? I'm not going to go there and start dancing. So, hindi nyo ho ako makikita. <laughs> okay? Sumasayo dyan dahil hindi ho ako marunong sumayaw. But anyways, I'm fooling around with TikTok. And one thing that I noticed is very addictive ang TikTok. Very addictive. Because there's always fun thing that you can find on TikTok. At very short lamang po kasi mga videos. Eh. So walang big commitment. But what I'm trying to say, going back to journaling, what I'm sharing, and then we'll go into the details on ano po natin. Um, <clears throat> yung technology po, huwag nyo hong hahaya ang nanakawin niya yung oras ninyo at yung buhay ninyo. Kaya po yung journaling, if you have a notebook and a pen, that helps you to think better and clearly. And one of those things na, na hindi naiisip ng iba, na hindi napakalayo yung kanilang income goal. Kasi minsan, pag nag-set sila, you know, siguro pag kumikita ako ng mga uh, isang milyon, isang buwan, magiging masaya-masaya na ako. No? Talagang lahat ng mga pangangailangan ko, ng pamilya ko, ganyan, ganyan, ganyan. And then they gonna pause, they gonna stop, and they gonna think. I mean, hindi naman mangyayari, isang million. Paano naman makikita yun? Di ba? Napakahirap yata nun. That's the problem, my friend. Number one, they don't know how much exactly they want. Number two, kung meron man silang naisip, siguro this amount. Sa umpisa pa lang, hindi na nila maisip. So, ano ang gagawin nila? They, they won't pursue it. That's the key thing. <laughs> okay? Now, in this training po, though, I normally do this for a longer time and, you know, a much, much smaller group. I'm going to give you guys a quick breakdown lang how you can actually make 100,000 a month. Okay? And this is not just an exaggeration. I don't want you to believe everything that I say. I want you to use your common sense. Okay? But I got to tell you ahead of time though. Okay? Hindi po ito um um it, I, 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 I hindi ko sasabing ito ay napakadali. Okay? But all I can say is possibility. Let me ask you my friend. Quick question lang. Are you guys willing to do everything if you can hit your income goal that will change your life forever. Will, will you be willing to do that? Right? Yung, 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 yung dream, yung chill, yung nario lifestyle. Will you be willing to work and do everything to reach that income goal, whatever your dream income is? Right? Iba sabihin, Sir John, ang hirap naman yan. Hoy, mas mahirap ang walang pera. Okay. So yung iba sa mag-comment, oh, ang hirap naman yan, Sir Joe. Well, mas mahirap ang walang pera. Mamili ka lang eh. Kasi ba sabi nga nila, mahi, mamimili ka kung anong hirap ang gusto mo eh. Right? Yung hirap na magnegosyo at kumita at umaman o yung hirap na walang pera. Mamili ka. Both, uh, both of them are mahirap. So again, that is completely up to you. Right? So nakikita ko dito, yes sir, yes sir, yes sir. So you guys are willing to do just to, to whatever that is, whether bigyan ng magandang bahay ang mga anak mo dahil for a very long time, eh, eh, you know, nangungupahan kayo, your dream house, or maybe dalin mo sila from the, to private school because for a very long time, nasa public school, or maybe mabili mo ng magandang sasakyan, or maybe mag-upgrade ka ng sasakyan, or maybe mabigyan mo yung magulang mo ng better, you know, retirement because, you know, hindi, unfortunately, maraming mga sa Philippines, si eh, mga magulang, marami po ang hindi nag-prepare ng kanilang old age. So magkakaiba po tayo ng gusto, but I really believe na if you start, if you will see that it is not too far or it's not far fetched, you will start to take action. Okay, and uh, yeah, so I'm gonna again, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna, um, I might, you know what? Baka may excite ako, baka gawin nga natin. <laughs> but let me just walk you through really, really quick. Okay, so kung kunwari na lang ang goal mo lang is hundred k, but definitely for a lot of you, hundred k is just oh my god. Coach, that's 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 not a lot. I understand, okay? But I'm going to give you guys a breakdown lang on how to hit your first 100K. One thing in life, my friend, you have to pay attention to what I'm say. One thing in life is this. Before pa po magkaroon ng currency or pera na tinatawag natin, we always trade with what? Value. Right? So kung meron akong bigas, meron kang manok, sabihin ko sa'yo, Brad, kailangan ko ng manok. Pwede ba? Bigyan kita ng bigas. Bibigyan mo ko ng manok. Wala, wala pa hong pera kasi noon, di ba? Barter ang tawag noon. Trade. In business and in life, my friend, money will not just show up on your bank account or on your wallet unless you trade value first. 
So that thing you need to understand. Yung iba kasi, niisip lang nila yung fastest way to quit, to, to, to make money. No, you have to find yung the best value that you can provide in the market. By the way, normally, pag yung mga fastest, normally they don't last very long. I know, guys, I'm one of those people before that I'm looking for the fastest way to make money. Gets ko yun. Sino ba naman ang gusto maghintay? Right? We are natural, we are impatient. Di po ba? But that's not how, that's not how life works. Eh. That's a fact. So again, the first thing is you need to understand that you need to give value to our society. Then in return, they will give you money back. Okay? Can you leave a comment? Say value po sa ating comment section. And then we'll go from there. Okay? So think about it, your job. The reason that you have a full-time job is guess what? Because as far as your boss or your company is concerned, you have you are a valuable resources. And in return, binibigyan ka nila ng sahod. Zenas, katapusan, and all other benefits and all. Sa negosyo, ganun din ho. So it's not just about, I want to make money. No, the first question is, okay, what value can I provide in a society? That's number one. Okay. Ideally, you want to provide such value yung something that you are really excited about. Like, you really want to do this thing. You really want to sell this thing. Okay? Marami po kasi malapit natin mga salespeople that are struggling. Well, guess what? I asked them, the first, first question I asked them, do you really want to sell your stuff? No. <laughs> and then nagtatanong sila, bakit hindi ko ito mabenta? Well, sa so umpisa lang ayaw, uh, umpisa pa lang ayaw mo nang ibenta yan eh. Right? So again, first thing is value that I can provide to society. And once you discover that, how can you make, how can you, meron ka ng value that you provide to society, right? The next question you ask is, how can I give a massive value to a more, more number of people? Kaya ho, maraming mas yumayaman at bumilis ho ang pagyaman in our generation ngayon because of the technology on the internet. Because whatever value at pag-uusapan ho natin later, it could be a product or it could be a service. The reason ho na mas maraming yumayaman at pabilis ang pagyaman ngayon because of the internet, because ngayon po, you can offer value to a much larger number of people. Ganun lang. Common sense, right? No. <laughs> Not, yung iba hindi nila naiisip. Akala nila pag sa internet, oh, scum yan. It must be a scum. You know, yung, yung sinasabi nila, you know, yeah, if it's too good to be true, it must be a scam. Well, what's too good for you, my friend? It can be just a normal thing for other people. Pag napag-iwanan ka ng impormasyon at edukasyon, lahat sa sa'yo feeling mo true good. But that the fact is, maybe hindi mo lang naiintindihan. <laughs> okay? So here's what we're gonna do. So there are basically two ways to provide value something in our society, whether a product, producto, or services. And I've oversee what I would like to share with you guys, yung pong ginagawa ko mismo sa negosyo ko, because I don't want to talk about something that I have no idea how it works. All right? So tama lang po, producto o serbisyo. So dun ka magsisimula, ano yung mga produkto na po pwede kong gawin or something that I'm really excited about? Okay? Because pagka-excited ka kasi doon sa isang produkto na yun, you know, hindi ka masyado nakakaramdam ng pagod. Plus, very likely that magpa-follow through ka. Kasi marami po sa mga katulad ko at marami po maraming nakikinig ngayon na katulad magkakapareho tayo na marami po tayong business idea. Right? Yan yung bagay na hindi tayo mauubusan. Mauubusan ka ng pera, pero ang idea, hindi ka mauubusan. That's like... There's always something that new you want to create. Mag-tikto kaya ako, mag Facebook page, mag-launch kaya ako ng coach, coaching program, mag-consulting uh, kaya ako, mag, you know, you're always like that. Sino po dyan na nakaka-relate? Right? So that's the thing. Okay? So again, think about value. If you want to make more money, then think about what can I value, what value can I provide to people? But sabi mo, Sir John, you know, I've been providing value to people, but I'm still I'm not making much, much money. Then maybe... Maybe you want to reach out more to re to more people. Why do you guys think keep seeing my face on Facebook? Dahil gusto ko lang sumikat, guys. Wala akong plano maging artista. 
Dahil mukha ako pang radyo lang. <laughs> okay? Pa yung boses ko eh. Pang boses lang tayo eh. Wala sa mukha eh. But it's not about that. It's about reaching more people because I know that if I can reach more people, give more value to people, make impact to more people, I'm gonna make what? In return? That's right. I'm gonna make more money. So if you see my ads, that's just like for that purpose. I, you guys have seen many of my videos. You know that not every videos ko may binibenta ako. Of course, may courses po ko, program ako dyan. You can check out our website, negociouniversity.com. You will find all our product and courses that we sell. But before I even talk about that, you probably have seen many of my videos. It doesn't sell anything. Why? It's value eh. Ano yung value, sir? Well, it can be an inspiration na may ibigay ko sa inyo. It could be a value na free training. Right? That's why I hold a lot of webinars. And, you know, many of my webinars take make, make it two hours for, for, for free. And, of course, I do not expect all of them will buy. But at least, kung matin ka ng webinar ko, alam mo yon, kahit hindi ka matin ng course ko, kahit hindi mo kinuwang coach or mentor, hindi ka nag-join ng program ko, at the end of the day, matutulog ka na mahimbing, sasabihin mo, wow, ang dami ko natutunan kay John Oranya. Value. Now, when we provide value to people, di ba, sabihin mo, Sir John, ako po, Tagal na ako nagtatrabaho kasi, you know, uh, tumutulong ko sa mga magulang ko, tumutulong ko sa mga kapatid ko, bigay ako ng bigay sa mga kaibigan ko. Sir John, bakit? Bakit walang value ako nakukuha in return? Well, minsan kasi yung value hindi nakukuha. <laughs> hindi mo makukuha doon sa mga taong binigyan mo. Kaya po yung lumang kasabihan, yung give and you shall receive, totoo po yun eh. Totoo po yun eh. But, it may not go di come directly from that person that you help and to give value to, but it could be something else, right? For some of you, for many of you, probably hindi ka magbibili ng course ko, atin ng coaching program ko, whatsoever. And that is okay. But at home, hoping that after you watch this, oh my, I've learned something from that guy. Maybe at least I inspire ka, there you go. Maybe hindi ka mag-online business, maybe you do something else. But at the end of the day, you, I was able to give value for you guys and hopefully that is enough to inspire you to take action. Okay? Now, let's rock and roll. Ano ba yung mga four product and services po na normally I keep a coach and teach people? For most of you, probably 90%, if not most of all of you, know that I love selling digital products like an ebook. Okay? So now, by breakdown lang natin really quick. Okay? Kunwari, ang goal natin is 100,000 pesos. Again, for, for, for many Filipinos, for some of you, probably that's too little. But for many Filipinos, 100,000, I'm gonna do this from home. Nasa bahay lang ako. Hindi ko po problemahin kung may bagyo, may baha, may traffic. For a lot of you, you guys will be really happy with 100K. Okay? Obviously, si Coach John, a bigger family, I have bigger dreams, yung lifestyle natin medyo mataas. 100K, eh, di tinaho ako dyan. Okay, so uh, let's talk about that. Uh, ebook, so for example, ebook is like a digital product. It's a, it's a computer file. Ito yung minsan hindi na isip ng iba eh. Ebook is a computer file. Ang computer file, hindi ho nag-expire, hindi mo kinakalang lang storage, whatsoever. It is a computer file. Okay, so for example, gusto mo, what I suggest kasi sa mga estudyante ko, if you're gonna sell an ebook, right, basically it's a, a PDF or Adobe Acrobat file. Sell it for about 800 pesos. Now, if you will calculate, how many ebooks ba, Sir John? Kunwari, ang goal mo again is 100K. Goal mo is 100K. Mag ilang ebooks ba, Sir John, ang kaya kong ibenta? Possibly ba talagang kaya kong kitain yung 100K? Well, think about this this way, okay? If you will be selling ebook, right? You will be, uh, you need to sell. Meron ako kong uh, uh, kodigo rito dahil hindi ako magaling sa math. Kaya kinakailangan mag-recalculate ako. <laughs> Correct me if I'm wrong, by the way. 100K, goal mo, you need to sell about 125 ebooks per month. For 800 pesos na ebook mo, you need to sell 125 ebooks per month at may hit mo na yung 100K mong income. Now, di ba medyo marami yun, Sir John? Well, i-divide mo. I-divide mo per day. Ilang ebooks po ang kailang kailangan ninyong ibenta per day para ma-hit mo yung 100,000 pesos. That is just about four ebooks per day. 
apat na ebook lamang po kada araw ang ibebenta ninyo, you gonna hit your 100k. Now, here's the thing. <clears throat> Sa Facebook alone, guys, there are like what? 4 billion people on Facebook. Just just I'm just reminding you guys. Na yung bibentahan mo hindi lang yung nakatira sa inyo at nasa barangay ninyo o nasa siyudad ninyo ha, not even just in the Philippines. You're talking about global market. Think about that. Sa bahay ka lang, you're gonna sell a global market. On Facebook alone, there are like 4 billion yung total tama ba ako? Anyone here knows? Facebook active users. Natin, ha? Hmm. Okay, 2.7 billion yung tao po sa Facebook. 2.7 billion, can you imagine? Tapos kailangan mo lang magbenta ng ilang apat na ebook per day. Can you imagine that? That's not a lot, my friend. That's not a lot. Okay, again, for 800 pesos ebook, you just ha have to have 100. Think about what I'm just saying here, my friend. Think about the possibilities there. Like on Facebook alone, may 2.7 billion people. <clears throat> At wala namang sabing, hey, pag gumawa ko ng ebook, sa Philippines ako mabibenta. By the way, I have many students po na nasa ebook sila and they, they already made millions. Sa Philippines lamang po sila nagbibenta. Okay, it will, it will work both ways. You can sell locally, you can sell internationally, it doesn't matter. Okay, both are profitable. So that's number one, ebook or Digital product, normally, mga common questions sa akin, Sir John, gano'n pong karake, gano'n pong karami, normally about mga 15,000 words or about 50 pages. Yan po yung typical na size ng ebook. How did I come up with that number? Actually, nung una ko itong ginagawa, wala naman akong number in mind. But I just keep making ebooks, keep making ebooks. I start to, nung nag-start na ako kung magturo, I am getting this question. So, binalikan ko hula mga ginawa ko through the years. Yeah, it's about it average about 50. The shortest ebook that I have is about 35, 35 pages. Okay. The second product, again, guys, think about the value. Okay, think about the value. Before who dumating ang 10,0 a month sa bulsa ninyo, kinakailang mag provide mo na kay ng value sa society. The next product that you would like to consider, yung pung tinatawag na courses. Courses or online courses. But Wag niyo hong ibibenta sa mga Coursera, Udemy, and all. No, 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 no. I will have a separate training for that, pero wag niyo hong ibibenta. Benta niyo sa sarili ninyong website. Okay? But let me explain what a course is, just so you know, baka lang yung iba hindi aware. Most In most cases, it's a video course. Though meron din hong audio course. Yung, uh, yung, for example, yung First Steps to Freedom ko, if I'm not mistaken, we've sold about... The last time I checked is about 3.5 million for that audio. Audio lang huyon. So just imagine like I have a microphone, ni record ko lang ho sa computer ko, walang video, walang camera whatsoever. Audio lang po yun. I don't know kung magkano na yung huli namin because it's been a while na really we push it hard, maybe we've reached it 5 million na po inabenta namin sa audio lamang huyon. Again guys, it is a computer file. Ano yung audio book? Well, it's like listening to music, pero this time libro. <laughs> okay? You listen to books is like an MP3 file. Okay? Pero ang pinaka-common pag sinabi pong course uh, is a video. Okay? Sa, okay. Itong video course, that, again, this will this will vary a lot. Mas mahal ho normally ang video course ko. Pero sabihin na lang natin, kunwari, you charge your video course for 5,000 pesos. My friend, before you even tell me, Sir Joe, may bibili ba niyan? Guys, I'm not giving you an amount. I'm not gonna mention an amount that I know that that's, that's not having been done. Okay? Ulitin ko po. Kaya yung, yung nagtatanong dyan, may bibili ba ng 800 ebook? Ay! May, may estudyante ako, binibenta niya ebook niya, $97. Hmm. Okay? <laughs> Course, 5,000. Maliit na huyan, in my opinion. Pero sige na, Sir John, baguhan lang ako. Wala pa naman akong alam sa online business. Eh. Our goal, pay attention now. Our goal is to make 100K a month. Kung magbibenta ka ng video course, a video course, pwedeng camera, like what you're seeing right now, right? I'm going to give you an example. Hey, guys, this is John Ranya from the Ghost University, and in this video, we'll talk about how to whatsoever, right? Hindi kinakailangan boss DJ, nang aasar lang ako, okay? Video course, pwedeng may ganito, or pwedeng screenshot. 
yung video step by step or it could be you know Sir John you know mahihiyain ako eh ganyan ganyan oh let's say marunong ka maggitara eh di tutok mo lang yung camera sa gitara ganoon lang ka simple marunong ka magdrums ano ba ano bang mga hobbies ninyo guys can you can you can you type below guys kuno po yung mga hobbies ninyo uh, so that we can do and i get a whole maraming message dito i'm gonna get back to uh, to some of you um Yan. Drawing. Exactly. Oh my goodness. You, there are a lot. Okay. The secret with hobbies is this, my friend. Very likely na ang pera hindi sa mismong ginagawa mo yung hobbies na yon. Pay attention, guys. It's very, very, very important. I might, I might create a free Facebook course for this one. It's not about you doing the hobbies. Unless sikat kang artista, let's say, you know, I don't know, parokya ni Edgar. <laughs> you can play music and people gonna pay you for that. But very likely for ordinary people like you and me, the way to make money from your hobbies is by helping other people enjoy that hobbies or be good at that hobbies. Okay, pong sabi ng hobbies, guys, sama, sama nyo na yung sports, music, whatsoever, whatever you wanna call it. Ulitin ko po. Ang pera sa hobbies is when you help someone be better at that thing. So, for example, <clears throat> si Maximo Cabato Jr., sabi niya, drawing daw. There you go. So, very likely, Maximo, unless nasikat ka, okay, very likely, very likely, hindi ka kikita sa pagdodrawing. But, kikita ka if you help someone to be better at drawing. Okay, so video gaming at the same time, ganun din. Cloud, malibang maging, you know, I have a pamangking ko ho. Uuwi ngayon sa Philippines because nakuha siya sa team ng video game, I don't know, professional gamer, I guess. So that's what they call it. But para mas madali, <laughs> ituro mo kung paano yan, yung video gaming. Paano siya gagaling sa certain, pick ka ng isang certain game. Cooking is the same thing. Oh my God. I have two students that make millions sa cooking. Talking about millions, ha? Siguro combination ng dalawa na yun, baka nasa 20 million. Maliit na ho yun. I'm not, I don't want to exaggerate. Maliit na ho siguro yung 20 million na kinikita ng dalawa kong estudyante just from cooking. Suing. O oh, ano ba yan? I'm sorry, ha? Wala akong masyadong alam dyan sa mga pananahe. Probably look around, search on Google, search on Facebook. You will find a lot of people loving and enjoying that. And if you can help them be good at it, they're going to make you money. Get, make you money. Guitar is the same thing. Sino to? Si Kat, Kat Malo blogging po. Pwede ba yun? Absolutely. Think about it. If you can help someone be a better blogger or business owner, how to use blog for their businesses, they're going to pay you for that. Here's the thing, guys, sa mga hobbies ang pag-uusapan natin, okay? Minsan kasi, nahihinaan na kayo ng loob because in your mind, sabihin nila, eh, hindi naman ako si, kunwari na lang si Nico Magno, gitara. Pero sabihin ni Nico, well, hindi naman ako expert sa gitara. Well, guess what? You don't have to be the expert. You don't have to be an Eric Clapton because most market out there is, guess what? Beginners. Dahil kung expert na yan, eh bakit yan bibili sa'yo at mag enroll sa courses mo, right? So, ganun din sa, yun nga, sa blogging, sa spare fishing, si ENJ Piano, si Kaswerte ba? <laughs> Hanip sa pangalan na. Si Yusef sa writing, absolutely. A lot of people are struggling. They would like to become, say, you know, freelance writer. Teach them how to become a writer. Okay? Playing basketball. Ay, ay, ay. I've, I've, I have a, I bought it, an online course on playing basketball. All right. So I don't know if you've heard about um, EGT. You've heard about EGT, Marvin? Yeah. I have a course on that. Singing, absolutely. Yeah, mga singing. Naku. Gamitin ho ninyo yun. Okay, to make money. Not only, not only you're going to make money, you got to help a lot of people. And since, since habits nyo yan, nag enjoy kayo eh. Again, enjoy kayo. Alright, if you can help someone, guys, marami po dyan, say singing, kunwari. Marami po dyan, for a very long time, ambition na nilang matutong kumanta. Lalo ang Pilipino, yung simpleng video okay lang eh. Because, you see, 
when people buy stuff, means and hindi necessarily because they want to learn to be singing, but they just want to be comfortable singing. They want to look good na pagka nagkaroon kami ng uli ng company outing, you know, kakanta ko ng I did it, ma. <laughs> Matanda talaga, my way yung pinanatan. You know what I'm saying, guys? So there you go. Manicure, massage, songs, manicure. Man, if you're gonna teach someone how to do manicure and make money from, from, from manicure, right? How to get customers manicure, they're gonna pay you for that. Okay, uh, I, 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 um, marami yung nag-reply dito, but I'm, 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 I'm gonna skip that part. So again, dahil yung iba, uh, they just, they just, they just uh, joined recently. Ang pinag-uusapan po natin dito is how to hit your first 100,000 pesos a month. And magtuloy-tuloy na ho siya every month. Okay, so kanina ho pinag-usapan namin na e-books, you just basically need to sell about 4 e-books a day, may hit mo na yung 100,000 a month mo. Kanina ho, pinag-usapan namin course, video course. You just need to sell 20 video course a month for 5,000 each. 20 lamang po. 20. At may hit mo na yung 100,000. Can you imagine you just need to sell 20? And global po ang market natin. Ulitin ko ho, ha? So forget about the the sari sari store sa tapat ng bahay nyo, mga lugawan dyan. There's nothing wrong with those businesses. The difference with the internet and technology is you can reach billions of people online. So can you imagine again ulitin ko on Facebook mayroong 2.7 billion. Sa Facebook lang ho 2.7 billion are using Facebook and you just need to sell 20 a month. Don't you think you can sell somewhere out there? Just 20, right? If you really, if 100K, it's like this is my dream income. Don't you think now, you know what? I, I'm going to give my best shot to make it happen. That should be your attitude. Forget about finding the easy way. You know, madali ba yun, mahirap ba yun? Wala hong madali sa buhay. <laughs> give it up, <laughs> All right? So there you go. So now, una binanggit ko ebooks. Number two, yung audio books or video courses. Audio course. Okay. Now, let's go about one of my favorite two is coaching. Ngayon po, ito na yung pinakamalaking revenue ng business ko ngayon, which is coaching. Okay. Now, coaching, that will vary. That will be a vary 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Could be 100, right? My highest coaching program is $7,000 for a one-on-one -on -one coaching. So, but... Sabi mo, Sir John, di naman ako expert, di, di naman ako magaling. Where should I start? How much should I charge? And all. I suggest that for a coaching program. So ano ba? Teka, explain ko muna what is a coaching. Sir John, who exactly yung coaching? Okay, kunwari si Valerie Edora, tuturo ang kumanta. Right? So mag-define ka lang, Valerie, ng modules for each, say kunwari, eight modules or six modules na lang on how to start singing or how to be good at singing, right? From, you know, basic vocaliz vocalization, number two, pronouncing your words. Module three could be breathing. Number four is maybe picking a song that's perfect for your voice and so on and so forth. So you define modules, okay? You define modules. And then for a group coaching, you charge 15,000 pesos a month. So, ano yung surgeon ng, ano yung tura ng coaching? Well, para hong ginagawa natin ngayon. It could be Zoom, you can get it for free. Could be, ano ba, sino pa bang dyan mga nakakaalam ng mga free uh, online uh, online platform that they guys can use? Zoom is for free, I know. Uh, what else? Uh, I think, uh, uh, I'm not sure if Zoom can do that, but there are so many free online platform that you can teach people. Right? You can teach inside a Facebook group as, as well. Parang ganito, naka-live tayo. Some of my Facebook group, naka-live din po tayo sa YouTube channel ko. Google Meet. There you go. You can do... Hindi na ho excuse ang resources, guys. Hindi na ho excuse ang tools. If you are really, really, really want to hit that 100K a month, you have to give up that BIA. Oh, paano ba yan? Hindi ko alam. Eh. Paano ba yan? Hindi ko alam. I-Google mo. <laughs> okay? Google is your friend, my friend. All right? Use Google. Search for it. 
Be resourceful. Okay? Kasi yung entrepreneur kayo, eh, you have to give up yung spoon feeding. Eh. Okay? So again, if you will be coaching people, say gusto mong i-hit is 100K a month, you charge them 15,000 a month, you just need about 6 to 7 students. 6 to 7 students per month, hit mo na yung 100K a month mo. My friend, uulitin ko yung tanong. Would you, be, would you be willing to do everything that you can just to hit that 100,000 a month? Nang nasa bahay ka lang, with just your computer and the internet, would you be willing? So, sa iba yung 100K, Sir John, mga kauwi, ano, di na ako mamamasukan. Would you be willing to give up yung, yung, yung katamaran and start working on this just to hit your income goal? I hope so, my friend. I hope so. Again, hindi ko sinasabing madali, but I'm just showing you guys the possibility. And here's the thing. The more you do this, the more it gets better. The more it gets easier. That's the thing, right? So sa coaching, again, you can charge 15000 Again, the, 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 the average po, I'm, I'm, I'm guessing yung pinaka... Pinakamura ko yata ngayon is about 27 if not 30,000 pesos po ang charge ko for a group coaching, yung IBMC, your Internet Business Master Class. Yung pinakamalaki yung batch of class namin, I think about 180 people enrolled in that program. So you do the math, you know what I'm saying. Okay? Oh, yan. Tingnan nyo si Coach Lish Aquino. Yan. Para maintindihan ninyo, baka sabi nyo, gawa-gawa ko lang ito. <laughs> I'm just making this thing up. Ayan, basahin nyo. I was able to sell an 89,000 per student course by applying the lesson I learned from Coach John. Kaboom! <laughs> okay? Ko, kung isip mo, 15,000, may bibili ba niyan? Mahirap pang Pilipinas. Oh my goodness. Mahirap pang Pilipinas. Puno ang car park ng mga sasakyan. Puro juice, puro santo. <laughs> okay? So please, Give up the idea. I know may maraming may hirap sa Philippines. Hindi naman ako pinanganak sa Canada, guys. Okay? Was born and raised in the Philippines. I know what's going on in the country. Okay? But we have to give up this excusitis. Okay? Can you type in excusitis, guys? You have to give up yung sakit na yan. Ngayon nagpapahirap sa inyo. Okay. So again, recap lang for those who came late. Number one, we've talked about how to hit yung 100,000 a month. Sabi ko, you can sell ebooks, charge 800 pesos. You just need to sell about four ebooks a day. Tatamaan mo na. You can sell a video course or an audio course, charge 5,000. You just need to sell 20. 20 lamang po kada buwan, mahihit mo na yung 100K. Ngayon, pinag-uusapan natin coaching program. You coach people, you teach people, right? Obviously, coaching is not for everyone, right? Yung iba kasi talagang humawak lang na mikropono, kala mo hihimatay na. That's okay. I'm not saying you are wrong. I'm just saying that Pumili who kayong what works for you. That's all I'm trying to say. Pumili kayo what will work for you. It's not gonna work for everybody. Ako nagsimula ako sa e-books. At nung umpisa ako, ako masaya na for, I don't know, six, seven, eight years. I'm just selling behind the scene. Nobody knows John Oranya. I'm just selling behind the scene. scene. I use a pen name. So that's why nobody knows me. Kaya yung iba nag-google. But wala akong makitang e-book nito ni John Oranya because I use a pen name. Until I start creating courses, until I start creating coaching, and I start to see what really people want, need, right? And uh, it just evolves, right? Ganun naman ang negosyo, lagi nag evolve there, right? So now again, going back to coaching, you can coach someone. You can, again, for if, if you want to hit your 100K a month, you just need to get six or seven students and charge them 15,000. And kaboom! There you go. Hit mo na. Okay? Number four is very last. Ito po yung mga recent program na ginagawa ko ngayon sa Negosyo University because my mission, my mission is to, is to help one million, one million Filipinos to get out of the corporate race or, or, or the, uh, the rat race by teaching them to mga modern day way of making money. Because unfortunately, marami po tayong kababayan nandun pa rin sa traditional way of making money. Because sa nakita lang nila sa internet, sa technologies, to have fun, to watch Netflix, meron silang um, ano yun, smart TV, 
uh, they watch YouTube, uh, maybe makapag Mobile Legend or makapag TikTok. There's nothing wrong doing these things, guys, okay? All I'm saying is wag nyo hong hayaan na dumaan lang sa mata ninyo ang mga teknolohiya na ito na hindi mo alam na itong mga ginagamit mo at hinahawakan mo ay pagkakakitaan pala. Okay? So, think about that. Ako ho, almost the whole day ngayon, dahil sobrang lamig sa labas, wala akong ginagawa except for this live stream. Ito lang ho yung ginawa ko magapon. Talaga ho, manood lang ng TV at mag-relax lang muna. Okay, nag-nap ho ako ng, natulog ho ako kagabi ng about uh, 10 hours ho ang tulog ko kagabi. Tapos nag-nap ako kanina ng 2 hours. O, di ba? <laughs> Walang Wala kang kahilig-hilig sa tulog. Alright? So, anyways. Um, going back to what I'm saying. The last thing that you guys can do is yung consulting. Ano ibig sabihin? Consulting is primarily, ang difference kasi ng coaching versus consulting is this. Of course, if you Google and you ask different people, you're probably gonna get different answers. Pag sinabi sa akin, consulting is you actually do stuff for students, for your client. So minsan may relationship ka sa kliyente mo na coach ka na, consultant ka pa. Minsan ganun. Uh, but let's talk about consulting. I'm gonna give you guys an example. One example dyan, babalik ho tayo nung mga kauna-unahan pa lang hong negosyo si Coach John. And that is, I was a web designer. Just so you know, I was uh, back in 1999. I was hired as a web designer sa isa pong uh, internet service provider or ISP na tinatawag back in the day here in Ortigas, Pasig. Yung uh, sino ba dyan nagtatrabaho sa Ortigas? Yan. Yung OMM Citra. I don't know kung nandun pa yung building na yun. OMM Citra. It was beside the hotel back then. Eh, talagang, alam nyo yung, syempre wala ka namang pera eh, bata ka. Pagbaba mo nung, ano mo yun, pupunta ka sa Ortigas, you know, ano ka eh, uh, ano ba tawag dito, kagagraduate mo lang eh, sudyante ka, wala ka namang masyadong alam, alam talaga sa buhay, ano? Alam nyo yung minsan na, hindi minsan, madalas. Pagbaba ko ho kasi ng building namin, paglabas namin ng OMM Citra, ito yung parang maroon brown na building. Hindi ko na ho alam kung ano yung itsura ngayon. Paglabas ho namin sa pagkaliwa nyo ho ng building, ng, ng building namin, mayroon ho magandang hotel doon. I think it's a five, I can't remember. It's, I think it's four or five star hotel. Alam nyo yung dumadaan ka, titingin ka lang doon. Right? Eh, wala ka naman pera eh, bata ka eh. Magkano lang ho sa awad ko naman? I think I'm making like 8,000 pesos. 8,000 pesos a month. Estudyante ka. Ganun, look at that hotel. Sabi mo, fancy, ganda siguro dyan. Sarap. Alam mo yun yun. <laughs> Eventually, doon na, na ako naka-check-in. <laughs> it, was, it was really nice. It's like, oh my goodness. You know, how how you look back, minsan ho, pinuntahan ko yun. Dapat gagawa ko ng vlog. Ang ingay-ingay ho sa Ortigas kasi ho, rush hour. <laughs> Sabi ko, oh my God. It's like, it's like what a journey. Alam nyo ho yun yung feeling na yun na dati nakikita mo lang, dati hindi, hindi mo alam kung makakatungtong ka dyan. No? Alam mo yun, alam yung pagbata ka, yung kahit pumasok, takot ka. Alam nyo ho ba yun? Na-experience nyo ho ba yun? Yung, or minsan, di ba, nung, nung walang-wala kang pera, especially nung bata ka, may makikita kang butik. Or sa, sa mall, for example. Kami, nung, nung bata ako, uh, when I was in high school, you know, or even college, yung Shangri-La Plaza, di ba? Yung Shangri-La back then, it was like, oh my God. So expensive. Yung, yung, yung dahil alam mo wala kang pera, ni hindi mo na iisipin pumasok. <laughs> okay? Yung gano'n, gano'n yung nangyari dun sa akin sa hotel, as sa, yeah, Discovery Suites. Um, Discovery Suites nga ba? Teka, nalimutan ko na ho, guys, kasi there are, there are different hotels ho na chinek in ko na dyan sa Ortigas eh. Nag-check in ako ko yung, yung hotel yung across yung uh, podium ba yun? Aba yung mall dun sa Ortigas, yung podium? But anyways, uh, you know what I'm saying, right? So anyways, going back to, ganun ho yun. You know, bumaba ako dun sa building namin, nakikita yung hotel, and then eventually, um, you know, you get a chance to check in, and you know, it was really this fancy, it was, it was, it was great. It was a, it was a journey, and uh, I hope na kayo ho yung mangarap. Hindi nyo katakutan yung mga ganong bagay na someday, you know what, someday papasok din ako dyan, someday mag-check in din ako dyan, someday kakain ako dyan. Noong ako ho'y nagsisimula pa lang sa panigunin-negosyo, very simple lang naman ho'y. Eh. Simple lang rin naman ho'y ang gusto ko sa buhay. Ano yun? Sabi ko, gusto ko dumating yung time na papasok ako sa restaurant, me or with my wife or with my family. Particularly ako noong bagong-bagong-bago ba lang talaga ako binata. Sabi ko, alam mo yun yung papasok ako sa restaurant na Kakihingin ko yung menu, uh, menu 
Ano ba tawag sa Philippines? Menu or menu, right? Menu sa Philippines or menu. And then, ang titignan mo yung nasa left side, hindi yung nasa right side <laughs> ng column. Ah, linden switch, yes. Ah, hindi. Linden switch yung nasa kanto yun, Dense. Eh. Oo, yun yung banda doon pa eh. If I'm not mistaken eh. Nalilito na ho ako guys ha. Sorry ha. Kasi ano ba yung nandun sa piraka corner? Yung dating office ko naman ho, likod noon, nung corner ng building na yun. Nandun din yung opisina ko dati, computer programmer. But anyways, <coughs> um, nasa na tayo? <laughs> Eto mahirap eh. Okay, so going back to pinag-uusapan natin, um, coaching program, Richmond Hotel. That's, ay hindi. <laughs> Nagkahalo-halo na, tatlo yan eh. Iisang row lang yan, Richmond Hotel, yung Linden Suites, tapos yung tapat ng podium na hotel. Tatlo yan, magkakasunod yan, na-check na inang ko na ho lahat yan. But anyways, going back to what I'm saying. Coaching, consulting. Ang different, ang consulting ho, you can charge 50,000, 100,000 a month. So, kunwari yung nakakuha ka ng isang consulting client. So, one of the things that I teach right now is yung Facebook consulting. How to become a, a marketing consultant. That's what I've been uh, teaching right now. Small group pa lamang po. Very intimate pa lang yung community. Pinalalago pa naman namin. But I'm getting success stories na po ng mga estudyante who are already char charging 30 to 50,000 a month as a marketing consultant. So, kung ulitin ko, kung ang goal mo is to make 100k a month, kung consulting naman ang pupuntahan mo, you baby need just two to three clients, matatamaan mo na yung 100,000 pesos a month po. So, yun po yun. Consulting, again, just a quick recap lang for those who came late. Number one, if you wanna hit 100k, you can sell an 800 peso ebook. You need to sell about four ebooks a day tatamaan mo na yung 100k a month mo. You can create a video course, charge 5,000, you just sell about 20 video courses a month, tatamaan mo na yung income goal mo. Kung you can be a coach, right? You can you can you can you can sell what 15,000 a coach, co coaching program, you just need 6 to 7 people, tatamaan mo na yung income goal mo. Consulting, 100k, 2 to 3 Clients lamang po, kailangan nyo, tatamaan nyo na yung 100K a month nyo. Okay? Because maraming Filipino, they get stuck with their full-time job. Job na hindi naman nila gusto in the first place. Ga job na stress sila. But they feel na trap sila. Dahil dito, Sir John, hindi ako makauwi. Kung OFW, hindi ako makauwi ng Philippines. O hindi makapag-quit kahit na ho ang stress. Ang stress ko, one of the causes yan ng debt or sakit or karamdaman. Ang stress. So that's why kinakailangan maging buhay, chill, yunaryo tayo para less stress. I'm not saying naman walang stress because, you know, life is up and down. There will always be challenges. That is the truth, right? So um, how to do... Um, yeah, so those are the four things. So, yan. so marami po tayo ngayon dito. Um, ano ba yung hotel na yun sa Ortigas, Pasig? Just give me a second, guys, ha? punta dun sa hotel ano eh, uh, may kita ko yan dito eh along ano ho tawe eh. along along uh, hindi ba sa ano ba ano ba San Miguel ba yon um, let me just go here maps <laughs> na curious bigla eh hindi San Miguel yun eh alam ko hindi San Miguel ah uh, Yan. Yan. Okay. Kami ho, ah, nilipat na nga pala yung ano, no? Yan. Ang opisina ko ho dati, kung di baragas pa yan? Okay. Sandali lang guys, ha? Saan na ba yung podium dito? ADB Julia Vargas Podium Hmm Yeah, San Miguel. Oo nga, San Miguel Avenue. 
Anyways, mabubuso oras natin. <laughs> okay, I'm just here to answer some of your questions, guys. Again, if you have any questions, just leave in a comment below. I-google map natin, sir. Oh, nakalimutan ko yung mga hotel kasi ron, eh. I have a suspicion na sa ano yun eh. Tatlo lang naman yun eh. Discovery Suite, Richmond. I suspect Richmond Hotel yung dating niya. Uh, yung katabing building ho nun. Doon ho ako namamasuhan dati. Where I was a... Uh, I was a young web designer back then. Doon ko gawa po kami ng website. Yan. Tapos sa likod noon merong ano... Uh, mga kainan. Ano yun na... Uh, dati ano ba yung sikat dating tindahan ng showmay ngayon... Chinese yun, mga paborito namin. Sa likod namin yung uh, Asia Pacific. Ano ba yung uh, eskwela ng mga mayayaman sa likod? <laughs> uh, hindi Marco Polo, that's for sure. Hindi rin Oakwood. Yeah. Mga bago na lang yung mga yan eh. When I was in college, wala pa tong, well, I'm assuming wala naman ako masyadong alam sa hotel noon. But definitely not Marco Polo and Oakwood. I've never been in those two. But, Going back to what I'm saying, uh, yeah, so I'm going to answer some questions in here. Kung meron po kayong question, let's rock and roll at simula na po tayo with the four things. Again, for those who just came late, I just mentioned how to hit their 100k a month. It's not too far that what most people think about. Okay? Kasi minsan, um, ganito ho kasi, kasi tayo. Alam niyo ho, yung pagkahirap, kas, pagka meron tayong pangangailangan, kailangan mo ng pera. Kailangan mong kumita. <clears throat> so, ang unang ginagawa kasi natin, my friend, at marami ang taong na i with this, is this. Kapag may gusto tayong kita, kitain, ang, ang tendency, sisipagan mo kung ano yung ginagawa mo. Right? So, for example, kunwari meron kang maliit na sari-sari store, gusto mong madoble ang kita mo. So, ang gagawin mo, sisipagan mo dun sa sari-sari store mo. Instead of stepping outside that thing and figuring out what other business model that I can possibly do and check and apply so that I can escape that thing. Instead of working harder. In many cases po guys, working harder if you want to hit, example, for example, you want to hit 200 times 300, you mean, you mean make tw twice, thrice, 10 times more? than your current income, very likely, 99% 99, 99 of the time, it's moving away from where, whatever you're doing right now. Period. So, ibig sabihin, <laughs> kung yung trabaho mo ngayon, I don't know kung magkano kinikita mo. Pero sabihin mo, Sir John, gusto ko madoble, matriple. Well, guess what? Very unlikely. Okay? Na makukuha mo yung income mo na yun with whatever your job right now. Period. So it's either you move, you know what I'm saying? Sa business, ganun din ho yun. Okay, ako ho, you know, whenever I reach kasi sa negosyo ko, through the years, it keeps going up, going up. I'm consistently hitting some ceiling, ceiling, ceiling. Ganun naman eh, right? There's always like a ceiling. And then now you have to step back, oh my goodness, this is not gonna work. I cannot work even harder. Kasi yun nga po ang tendency na ginagawa natin eh. If we cannot hit our goal, we're gonna work harder. And harder and harder. But at the end of the day, you know, very incremental lang po yung improvement. I am not saying na hindi magkakaroon ng improvement. I'm saying very incremental. Pero if you want to double, triple, quadruple your income, you got to change what you're doing. Period. So, there you go. So, I'm introducing you guys different business models that you may want to consider kung whether may negosyo ka na and you want to add a re additional revenue. There you go. Or if you're looking for a, bi a, a business that you want to start, are you ready? Yeah. Yeah, tama. Univer yeah. Si Wan C lang, tama. Yun yung likod, yung uh, University of Asia in the Pacific. Yeah. Diyan nagsimula yung sikat na sikat na burger house back in 2000, 2001. Diyan sumikat yun. Ngayon nasa mall na yun. Eh. Pero yung unang-unang store nila lang dyan sa... Yeah. All right. Guys, na hindi, hindi ko na makalimutan tuloy yung hotel na yun. Hotel yun sa katabi ng OMM Citra. Tingnan ko, may OMM Citra pa ba? Ah, oh, meron pa! Along San Miguel Avenue. Ayan. Yung hotel ho nung katabi nun, Linden Suites pala. Ayan, the Linden Suites. Yan ho yung hotel na sinasabi ko kanina, 
<laughs> na ako huwi uh, nagtatrabaho doon back in uh, 1999-2000. Pagbaba ko ho ng building namin, kakaliwa ako. Okay? Kasi ho, normally doon ako dumadaan sa may bandang... Dati yung Medical City, nandun kasi ngayon, nilipat na Medical City. Dati, pagpupunta ko ng Mega Mall or Shangri-La or mag-MRT ako, MRT, Ed, sa show, di po ba? Banda ron yun eh, pakakaliwa ka. So, every time na pagbaba ako, alam mo yun, titingin ka dun sa hotel na yun, very fancy, alam mo yun, parang, oh my God, mga senador lang iyak, ang nakaka-check in dito, di ba? Parang ikaw, bilang isang, you know, young man and you don't know anything about life and you don't have much money, parang, ni pumasok, hindi ka na magpapakasakali. <laughs> baka kasi baka pagpasok mo, eh, singiling ka na agad, wala kang pera, pamasahe lang ang bitbit mo. Alam niyo ho yun, yung ganung bagay. Um, tsaka syempre, oh, yung pag wala kang pera, alam mo yun, parang, hindi kaya ako husgahan itong mga to. Alam mo yun, pagtingin pa lang sa'yo, nung kailangan mo rito, magnanakaw ka ba? Hmm? Hmm? <laughs> okay. Nung bata ka, di ba? Ang dami mo mga insecurities and then eventually, you know, nag-check in ka na sa mga hotel tayo. Hmm? Sinong magnanakaw, ha? Bit-bitin mo yung luggage ko dun sa room ko, okay? <laughs> Anyways, going back to what I'm saying. Okay. Question naman po, Q&A guys. If you have any questions, there you go. Linden Suites. Linden Suites po pala yung hotel na yun na binabanggit ko. But I've checked through uh, yung tapat ng podium. Nag-check na rin po ako dun. Yung Richmond Hotel. Uh, somewhere in the corner. Nakapag-check in na rin po tayo. Pag umuwi ho kasi before... Before ka, before kasi ang bumili ng condo normally ho diyan ako sa Ortigas nang check in. So there you go. All right. So I can see some questions in here. Sagot uh, sagutin na po natin. How to make an ebook po, Maria Lara. Uh, Lara. If you know how to use a Word document, that's all. Just Word document, type whatever the content, save it as a PDF file or um, Adobe Acrobat file. Click me yung file, save as a Word document, viola ebook na siya. <laughs> Yan, okay? Um, okay. <laughs> ang dami mo na-stuck sa hotel. Eh. Nakita ko, nagre-reply. Ano nga bang hotel yun? Ano nga bang hotel yun? Yan. May OMM Citra building pa. Linden Suites po yun. Linden Suites. Yan. Tama. I wonder kung ano na yung likod nito. Kasi oh, alam niyo ho yung sa likod nito, yung Pearl Drive. Eh. Yan ho yung, uh, dyan yung mga kain ng kain na namin dati. Ay, nako, masarap bisitahin minsan. Okay, sino ba dyan ang ano? Sasamahan ako sa Ortigas. Type Amen. <laughs> Nakita-kita tayo dyan, di ba? Marami dyan. Tambay lang tayo. Gala-gala lang. Yan. Okay. Answer questions in here. Tanong ni... Um, <clears throat> Poch Felix. Posibleng marketing platforms po ba for e-books? Pwede bang hindi mo na personal wall since medyo mahirap bentahan ang family and friends? Poch, I do not actually suggest that you sell on your personal wall. If you go to my wall in my Facebook account, if you follow me, I've never sold anything at all sa personal ko. Dahil tama ka, mahirap bentahan ang pamilya at kamag-anak. Okay, they are not the best people. They're, they are biased. Even even asking people, okay ba tong prada ko? Bibenta kaya ito? No, no, no. They're not the best. The only and what you should pay attention to is yung comment ng market itself. So for example, Poch, you decided to sell an ebook on how to raise a bonsai, for example, then the only opinion that matters is not my opinion, not your best friend, not your girlfriend, spouse, whosoever, not ang nanay mo especially, but those people na in that market. Okay? So dun mo sila, uh, sila yung pakikinggan mo whenever you create a product and what to market and sell to them. But I suggest sell it on your own website. Um, Alvin, the university that you're offering, how much is would that be the investment amount? Alvin, iba iba eh. Iba iba eh kasi. Uh, go to negosyouniversity.com. Click mo yung programs. May kita mo lahat ng products namin. Depende sa anong gusto mo. <laughs> okay? Depende what works for you. Dahil yun nga po ang binabanggit ko in this training, you have to pick whatever works for you. Whatever works for you. There you go. Okay, coach, bakit di ko ma-publish sa ebook sa Amazon do? Complete details naman po ako. Okay. Marilu, I do not teach people to sell on Amazon. So, I don't know how. Okay? Si Alvin. Astoria. Hindi, hindi Astoria. Linden Suites pala. Linden Suites. Yan. Um, Sir John, paano po mag-set up ng account kung saan papasok ang benta or kita ng product? Okay, you're probably referring to PayPal. 
PayPal is the one who's going to process your the, your client the client's credit card. So just sign up. That is for free. If I'm not mistaken, you can sign up for free. Go to PayPal.com, register an account, and then from there they're going to give you tools to accept payment and credit card. Now all you have to do is link your bank account, your local bank account, whether I don't know Metro Bank, BDO, BPI. You link mo sa PayPal account mo, and viola. Okay, you can transfer your the amount from your PayPal account to your bank account. All right. Uh, Grace Villarino, finally work on my ebook. Once I have my sub chapters, pwede bang i-hire ang freelancers? Yes, absolutely. You can if you get stuck. You know you don't want to take too much thinking. Okay, because that's tendency ng maraming tao is they overthink stuff. Just let it go. Give the freelancer, let it go, and have a coffee. Okay, um, there you go. Okay, enjoy your day. Uh, so I have to step back with my RTW business, Ma Teresa. Ma, again, ulitin ko, from my experience and from studying success, business success, okay, if you want to double, triple, quadruple your income, it is very likely it's not the way you do it right now. Alam nyo yun, yung lagi sinasabi nila na quote daw ni, uh, ni, ni um, what do you call this? Ni Albert Einstein that doing the same thing oh insanity, sabi niya ron, insanity is doing the same thing over and over again expecting different results. So you cannot keep doing and doing the same thing and then nag expect ka magbabago. No. Hindi na nga eh. Right? I, I forgot the exact quote dahil hindi ko magaling magtanda ng quote. <laughs> okay? There are very few quotes ang nanaalala ko. Pero sabi niya ron that Whatever problem that you have right now, you cannot solve. You cannot solve it with the same level of thinking when you created it. Okay. I Google nyo na lang yon. May nagsabi na yon. It sounds smart. <laughs> it makes sense for me. I really think that's a very good uh, quote. Yung sabi niya na na. Yung ano man yung problema mo ngayon, you cannot solve it with the same level of thinking when you created it. So kung ano man yung na-stack tayo sa negosyo natin, sa income natin, you cannot solve it with the same level of thinking. Meaning, you have to level up your thinking. Kaya po yung hard work, hard work, hard work, that, that's not enough. You're gonna kill yourself by killing by doing hard work. You gotta work smart. Okay? And one of my favorite is role modeling. Kaya ho nag-start din ako mag-coach. And even up to now, I've paid someone about a, a 1 million pesos just as my as my coach. Because you want to learn from someone who's been there and done that. Common sense. But not common practice. Right? Because normally po, we hear from where? Nung college po tayo. Right? Again, this is not like uh, a punch again or hit. I'm not trying to hit hit our school teachers. But a lot of them, they are book bookworm. Theory. Kaya paglabas mo ng university, well, guess what? Nga nga. Right? I like kung sample when I was in college. First year, first sem. Tinuro sa amin. Uh, ano nga ba? Hindi Turbo Pascal eh. Nakalimutan ko yung term eh. May isa pa. Turbo Pascal po pwede pa eh. Nakalimutan ko yung pro, for, uh, pro programming language. And then pag graduate namin ng university, ang hinahanap na visual basic. late way behind that is the problem with our school system okay hindi naman pwedeng aasa na lang libre di ba sir <laughs> of course um how can i start selling ebooks uh, tanong ni hershey well uh you can sell it on your facebook uh on your facebook on your uh, website hershey and then drive traffic to your uh, uh, uh to your website uh, meron kami tinat meron tayong tinatawag na sales page or sales copy if you can google it I suggest uh, bilhin niyo yung book. Hindi ko lang alam kasi meron sa Philippines eh. Kung pupunta ko kayo sa Facebook profile ko, meron akong picture na pinost doon. The, ang tawag doon, web copy, web copy that sells by Maria Veloso. Basically, it teaches you how to write web copy, meaning how to write to sell. So, hindi siya yung writing na parang article or blog. Kasi normally, ang article ng blog, ang purpose nun is to inform Ang sales copy po, ang purpose nun is to sell. So, if you want to learn how, you may not have to buy a course or program. Oops, may tumatawag sa akin. Sino yun? Just give me a second, guys. 
Talaga? Ngayon, may Facebook Live ako? Okay. <laughs> okay. So just give me a second. Nasaan na tayo ngayon? All right. Mm, what if kung knowledge mo doon sa gusto mong ituro, coach, ay average lang, how would you handle it? You might be average on your own eyes, but for beginners, you are an expert. Possible promotion platform na hindi personal wall. Late is better than never. <laughs> okay. Thank you for joining. That's right. Infanity, insanity is doing the same thing over and over, expecting different results. How can we create a website for our ebooks? Oh, may maraming free website dyan sa e, uh, wix.com. Guys, ano po yung mga free website ngayon? There are so many. If you just gonna Google free website, there are a lot of website. There are a lot of resources you can get for free. There, there you go. Okay, you just have to research. You just have to be resourceful. Pwede ba i-sell yung mga na-download na PLR books? Ito yung sinasabi ko sa inyo kanina, guys. Our job is to provide value sa society. 99% of the PLR e-books has no value. So if you're not making money because you're selling PLR, guess why? Right? Because PLR is like pretty much giveaway lang ng mga libro yan na nagkalat sa internet and then gusto mong ibibenta. How are you going to feel, my friend? Binentahan ka ng kaibigan mo and then na-realize ng kaibigan mo. Oh, how are you going to feel, my friend? Binentahan ka ng kaibigan mo. Binili mo naman. Say, 800 pesos. And then na-realize mo na pinamimigay lang pala nila yan. How are you going to feel it feel uh, uh, with your friend? Huh? What will be your... Must be tough, right? Mahirap. How to make a website that sells ebook notice in the internet? Uh, one silang, ito yung binanggit ko na kanina. Uh, web copy, create a something web copy, and then drive traffic to your website. Okay, you have, again, we're talking about 100K a month. Don't you think it is worth trying different free strategies just to make that 100K a month? Right? Eventually, once you hit your 100K, you want to go 200, 300, 500, then you start to advertise. Virgie, coach, how can I boost my ebooks online store and get res respective buyers on my ebook? Yeah, binanggit ko na again. Um, you have to learn how to write web copy or yung tinatawag na sales copy. Search po niyo yung libro na yon, basahin niyo, i-apply niyo yung natutunan niyo. Okay? Ren, Sir John, I've noticed there are a lot of coach offering online masterclass. Ano po yung edge niyo in offer niyo sa salamat? Ren, I don't know what do they have. <laughs> the edge ko, you have John Oranya. So whatever edge nila, so be it. I'm not here to compete with everyone. I only focus on people that follows me, believes in what I say, and that's it. You can, everyone has a freedom to pick whatever they want, okay? Um, how to drive traffic to a product page, Facebook ads pa din po ba ang pinaka-effective? Yes, consistently is Facebook ads and cheaply. Meron ba kayong tutorial on how to make a website? Oh, meron kami pero insider sa program eh. But you can definitely Google it. But first, pick ka muna kung anong tools and software ang gagamitin mo. And then from there. Okay. I make good tortillas. Can I sell video coach people on how to make it? Absolutely. And most importantly, how to make money from it. Okay. Thanks po sa email niyo. We'll read ASAP. Yeah, maraming salamat. Okay, is landing page still a good marketing for ebooks? Absolutely. You want to build followings. You want to build email subscribers. That's the long term. That's the long term strategies to have a followers. Katulad po sa inyo, marami po sa inyo, email subscribers ko. And guess what? You are here. You follow me. Some of you will buy. Most of you probably not. But at the end of the day, there's always customers and clients. Kanina po, nagbukas ako ng Facebook message namin sa, sa business page. And guess what? Do you have like... I don't know, 300 messages. <laughs> a lot. So, that's why we do it. All right. So, having said that, ako po ay nagpapasalamat for attending our live broadcast dahil na-realize ko meron pala akong meeting with a comedian. <laughs> and, um, yeah. So, having said that, muli po maraming maraming salamat. Thank you for joining me. And, um, 
talk to you soon. Peace out. Bye-bye.